Do you have problems showing yourself a little bit of self-compassion? Well, I just did a meditation with my clients. It's very simple and they absolutely loved it. So I decided to share it with all of you. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And a lot of people who come visit my channel who have symptoms of mental illness, whether it's anxiety or depression or any form of mental illness or even if you're in addiction recovery, one of the biggest issues we have is how we feel about ourselves. Even if you don't struggle with mental illness and you stumbled across this video, there's a lot of times when we have negative self-talk, um, we don't think we're good enough, we don't think we're pretty enough, we don't, we don't think very kind thoughts about ourselves. And something that I do is I teach people meditation and this is kind of a new thing for me because I've never done a, a real meditation like this on my channel. So I'm working on a little of my own anxiety right now. But when I do these meditations, I like to start out by explaining why this works. I think that one of the reasons why more people don't meditate is because they don't understand what it's gonna do or how it helps. You just think, oh, I just close my eyes and you talk or I focus on my breath, I don't get it. So I like to explain what, what this is actually doing in your mind and your body to kind of help you out. So with this meditation, and you'll see what I mean by the time we get to the end of it, I relate it to that one scene in the old Indiana Jones movie. I don't remember which one it is, but it's it might be Temple of Doom, I don't know. But anyways, where he has like, uh, he's gotta get that statue, but he's gotta like replace it really quick. Um, that's kind of what this meditation is like. It's a very smooth transition, and it's a way for you to show yourself a little bit of self-compassion. So without further ado, let's get started with this meditation. And whenever I teach meditation, I, I don't you don't need to fold yourself up like a pretzel or sit on the ground or on a cushion. If you want to, go for it. But I usually do my meditations in a chair. You can do it while lying down. You can do it anywhere you feel comfortable. All right, so let's begin. All right, so just get nice and comfortable. Just gently close your eyes. And we'll start out by taking a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth and in through the nose and out through the mouth. And just returning your breath to normal, just do a quick scan of your body and just notice how your body feels right now in this moment. So just start at the top of your head, scanning down your face to your neck, down your back and your chest to your stomach. Notice how your chest and stomach rise and fall as you inhale and exhale. Scan down from your shoulders, down your arms, all the way to your fingertips. And just bring your awareness to your pelvis. Notice the contact you're making with your chair or the bed. Now just gently scan down your legs, from your thighs, down past your knees, to your shins and calves, all the way down to your feet. And just noticing your feet firmly planted on the ground or resting on the bed. So we're gonna start off this meditation by bringing to mind someone whom you care for dearly. This can be a relative, like a grandparent. It can be a significant other, a spouse, a child, just someone who you love dearly. It can also be a pet. So if you have a dog or a cat or any other type of pet, just bring them to mind. And now imagine them doing something that makes them extremely happy. Could be a hobby that they enjoy doing. If it's a pet, maybe it's one of their favorite toys they play with or a child. And just notice what it feels like in your body as this person is feeling happy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this person or pet kind thoughts 
And as we send them these thoughts, just gently repeat them in your head. And as you're sending them these thoughts, just imagine them getting these thoughts instantly, like a text message. And they're getting happier with every thought you send them. Let's begin. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free from harm. And may you be loved. Just gently repeat these in your head and just imagine this person or pet getting happier and happier. And you may want to just even bring a gentle half smile to your face. And we'll repeat these again. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free from harm. And may you be loved. And just notice what it feels like in your body right now. It's just sending these kind thoughts just out into the universe and just notice how that feels. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these same kind thoughts, but we're going to turn them inwards towards ourselves and just gently repeat them in your mind. Let's begin. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be free from harm. And may I be loved. And just notice what it feels like to show yourself a little compassion and kindness. The same kind of compassion and kindness that you send out to other people all the time. Let's repeat these phrases again. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be free from harm. May I be loved. And now we'll just sit and just notice our experience right now and what it feels like to be in this moment. Just noticing if you have any feelings of warmth or just expansion of your heart. Just what it feels like to show yourself some compassion. All right, and we'll finish up this meditation with a deep inhale through the nose. And just gently open your eyes as you exhale. All right, so how was that? How was that? Anytime I do that, like no matter how bad my day is going, it doesn't matter how I messed up or screwed up or how I feel about myself, when I'm able to do that, I just feel amazing after that meditation. So if you do, just recognize how simple, how simple it is what we just did. This is something that you can do when you're on a break from work or if you have an office, close your door or if you're at your house and you're by yourself or alone or wherever the case may be. I do meditations like this with my son. He often thinks of his mom or me or his little brother. These are who you can think of, all right? And I hope you kind of noticed, you know, with that Indiana Jones analogy, see how we were projecting that compassion and love to other people, and then we can easily just focus that same kind of love and compassion towards ourselves, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this meditation, and let's do this. Let's do this for this video. Down in the comments below, you'll see a pinned comment from me. I want you to leave a comment. Who did you think of when we did this meditation? Was it a, was it a parent? Was it a child? Was it a pet? Who was it? Was it a friend, all right? Let's leave them down in the comments. I'm interested to see who you guys are thinking of, all right? But if you like this video, 
please give it a thumbs up. And remember, you can do this anytime. If you want to check out some of the other videos on this channel where I, I give out some different apps where they guide you through this as well, um, I'm working on releasing my own MP3s of meditations as well. So make sure that you subscribe, all right? It's right below this little box. Hit the little round subscribe button because I will be releasing MP3s of different various meditations, all right? So, if you want to check out some other videos on this channel, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.